Hey there and welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. In today's episode, we're talking about being a dog walker and making money from home. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber and a member of the consulting crew, welcome back. I hope you enjoy today's episode. Let's get to it. Hey there, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. As I said, we're going to be talking about being a dog walker and working from home and being able to make some extra money. Now, dog walking is a very easy way for you to be able to work from home. And you can even start an entire business around this to where it's not just you, but it is a team under you that does more work than you do. You can start out by posting flyers in your neighborhood, posting on social media, on your website, or on the Help Wanted section on like Craigslist or at your local grocery store on the pin boards that they have there offering dog walking services. Now you can charge per visit to walking the dog or you can set it up on a daily rate, or if you choose to do a long-term contract with them to walk their dog or dogs uh, throughout the week while they work or while they're on vacation. You can also offer extra services besides being just a dog walker. You could, we'll say hypothetically charge Ten dollars to walk a dog for an hour per day. Okay, as an added service, you could feed and water the dog for an extra two dollars. You could, if you have the skills, you could be a dog groomer as well. So not only would you walk the dog or feed and water the dog, but you could care for the dog in the sense of trimming their hair down if you have that knowledge, or clipping their nails if you have that knowledge. You could even go as far as having an additional service of house sitting. We'll say your customer is going to be leaving for an extended period of time, anywhere between 24 hours and a week or longer. You could have a additional service of house sitting in the sense that you would go over on a daily basis, check on their dog, feed and water their dog, and take their dog for a walk or let them out to use the bathroom. That way the dog owner and homeowner don't have to worry about finding a boarding area to take their dog to for a kennel that is going to charge them extreme amounts of money to care for that dog for that 24 hours or longer. You could also then, as a dog walker house sitter, charge an additional fee to water plants if need be, water grass or whatever it is you choose to do as the added services for that. So, in theory, you could charge five, ten dollars or more to walk a dog for an hour at a time. You could additionally charge an additional fee for feeding and watering, possibly grooming, or the house sitter dog walker combo as well as an additional fee for taking care of house plants so they don't die while they're on vacation or away from home for an extended period of time. You can offer these services on your own social media, on help wanted ads, in the newspaper, on Craigslist, or at your local businesses that have a help wanted 
find out in their lobbies. So I hope you found today's episode helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You never know. Your question might become the topic of another video. Don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, feel free to join us in the Consulting Crew Facebook group where you can chat with me and other community members. We'd love to have you there. It's completely free. You can ask further questions there, get to know me, get to know the community members, have general conversations, and just talk about whatever, including maybe the topics that we have here on the channel, or maybe there's a topic you would like me to cover. Until the next time, stay safe, have a great day or evening, depending on where you are in the world, and we'll see you next time.